Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Weekly Window Talk with Sammy the Window Girl. Today we are talking about what's the plan. So uh, first of all, I just want to thank everybody who downloads my podcast and also passes them out for everybody to be able to kind of listen to and share the information. My name is Sammy. I go by Sammy Windows in the window industry. Um, I have 30 years of experience. I used to actually work in manufacturing facilities. I don't really do it too much anymore, but I still do consulting work. Um, and that's the whole reason why um, I started the podcast. And, you know, especially this one is all about talking to the architect. So um, the architects are great for drawing up plans and, you know, making suggestions. But then a window installer is going to have a much different view of, when, of what really needs to go into that opening when they're out in the field. So there's like a long-standing argument going on all the time between window installers and architects because it's like the right hand doesn't see what the left hand is doing. So um, I just did a recent consultation for a developer out in Hawaii, and I know I'm mostly an East Coast uh, professional, and I do a lot of work on the East Coast, but I have worked on the West Coast And when um, I say that I'm talking about west of the Mississippi and east of the Mississippi, primarily I work east of the Mississippi, but I have worked in the West Coast before, and every climate is a different type of scenario, and especially when it comes to building supplies. So what you would use in the Midwest, you wouldn't necessarily use in the Southwest. So I have received a a phone call from a developer that is um, building apartments out in Maui and so when they called me I said well you know I'm really an east coast specialist but what makes you want to work with me and they said well we heard that you know we we should consult with Sammy before we do anything about the windows because you're the one that will get the job done get us the answers in the quickest amount of time and things like that so I said okay I'm game let me see what you're working with So we started working with the uh, plans on the building specs. And because I do have relationships with multiple manufacturers across the United States, I did do my consulting work. And after looking at the plans, I saw where the architect put a window where it really wasn't necessary. The rest of the units were all using single hungs. And in the bathroom, he wanted a casement unit, which doesn't make any sense to me at all because that's the window that when you when you are in the bathroom, 90% of the time that glass is going to be obscure. It's going to be obscure glass. Obscure glass meaning you can't see in from the outside um, because the glass is literally frosted. So people usually use a casement window when they want to have an unobstructed view. That is the reason for a casement window. It doesn't have a meeting rail in the middle. On a single hung and a double hung window, the sashes have to meet in the middle, which is called a meeting rail. So why an architect would put a double casement unit in a bathroom is doesn't make any sense. So when I went ahead and I offered my suggestions for change and I swapped that window out for a single hung window, I automatically saved the budget by $110,000. That's a lot of money for any project. Um, You know, some people would say, well, you know, why wouldn't they have just, you know, not, why shouldn't they consult it with you? Well, because an architect might have thought that the design you know, called for a double casement window because maybe, you know, out in Hawaii you're obviously paying for views, but still there's a level of privacy, especially when you're dealing with a bathroom. You know what I'm saying? 
it didn't make any sense. Casement windows are the windows that crank out. And so um, there was no reason for that whatsoever. A single hung works just fine. Um, now, if they are paying for a extensive view in a different room, that might have made sense to make it a casement window or just a picture window or a single casement because the size actually – you could have done a single casement in there. In any event, you want to go ahead and make sure that when you are designing your project, whether it be a home, a storefront, uh, an office building, things of that nature, you want to be hands-on with the um, plans. Because, you know, building materials are going to be the most expensive part of the building process. Windows are a major not a majority of the cost but it's it's one of the larger expenses you have more windows than you have doors in a home so you know you want to look at what the functionality and the purpose of that window being placed where it is and then determine from there so um, another example would be you know you have an architect and you're drawing up plans for a home and they want to put a lot of casement windows in, but the architect doesn't realize that the region or the area where the home is going to be built, it may not be conducive to put a casement window in that opening, especially if it's extremely windy. Because what happens with casement windows if you hinge them the wrong way in an area where you have high winds, uh, if you if you hinge a, hinge a casement window, let's say with left from the inside looking out on a left hinge, but it really calls for a right hinge, the wind is going to blow that casement window off of the um, crank mechanism, and it'll ha it happens because people don't realize when they're building a home that they even need to ask these types of questions. Because, um, you know, you can't expect the window to perform in unreasonable conditions. And a casement window has limitations. Sliding window, either sliding up and down vertically or horizontally. So it could be a single hung, a double hung, a picture window. Uh, not a picture window, picture window stationary. Um, um, slider window or double hung window, you know, they're, they're flush along the home but a casement window is a window that projects out of the house same thing with a bay and a bow window um but bays and bows you can also intermix double hungs and single hungs with but my point is is that if you're you you shouldn't just trust the person with the pencil and the ruler like architects do serve a very valuable purpose very valuable but they're not always designers on top of it so you have to be you know you should be doing your research on the types of windows that are going in your home and again the purpose that they're serving you if you are looking out at a beautiful mountainscape and you can do a wall of windows when you're in Maui but you don't necessarily need the ventilation your window probably would be a better option than a venting window you can do picture windows above awning windows or awning windows above picture windows, depending on the climate and how you want that ventilation to move throughout the, throughout the room. So needless to say, I um, did my job correctly when I reviewed the plans and I was able to go back to the developer and explain to them as a window professional what I thought about their plan. So it is something to think about. Um, I do get a lot of um, end users who will contact me in regards to design, um, help with their designs on their homes, and also what purpose that type of window should or could serve in their existing dwelling, because I always say it's better to have options. Just because that's what was there doesn't mean that that's necessarily the best window to replace you know existing in the opening you have options consumers have options so um if anybody is a developer or you need consultation work in regards to reviewing your plans 
you know, you can go ahead and let me know. I am a national wholesaler. I have 274 locations in 17 states. I do have my own window that is manufactured for me, the Sammy window. I am primarily a vinyl um, wholesaler for vinyl placement windows and new construction windows. I do other type materials. I do work in wood windows, historical windows, aluminum windows, impact windows, and I do consulting work um, for people in the window industry. But if you're in the construction trade or you're in the real estate business and you want to set up your own wholesale account, go ahead and let me know. I am located in Chicago, Illinois. My office hours are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. You can call me at area code 630-487-8312. That's 630-487-8312. Feel free to email me um, some feedback or show topics that you want me to discuss. My email is Buy from Sammy at yahoo.com. That's B U Y F R O M S A M M Y at yahoo.com. If you're not in the immediate states that I deliver, I can also ship my products to you. I do ship to the islands, um, both the U.S. Virgin Islands, and also I can ship to Hawaii. That's not a problem. We ship everything by container load. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn under Sammy Nelson and Sammy Windows. I'm on Facebook under Sammy Nelson and Sammy Windows. Also, I am on Google+. Plus. You can download these episodes by saying, Hey, Alexa, play weekly window talk with Sammy the Window Girl. And they are available on iTunes. I just want to wish everybody a pleasant week. And I will be back again next week with another topic in regards to the building industry. And um, I look forward to speaking to you then. Have a great week.